How are you? works yeah i got it and i'm too old to figure it out <laughs> so you're gonna have to clear it Alrighty. of junk or whatever sure no problem it looks and like it's in good condition it too. is it's been sitting i've had it like five years and i cannot figure it out for nothing but there's some games <laughs> there's the control and there's that wire all righty you get so, the hdmi wire yeah okay take it's a look. short but it's there black ops And it does work. If not, just call me. But I know it works. That's just... You can just take them. So it ain't gonna do me no good. <laughs> I hear you. Right. Oh, we're moving so we're selling everything. Sure, okay. We got a stereo. Do you have any other older games? No. Like it's Nintendo old. or any no. Game Boy? Okay. No. I Already. wanted to play games and I just, I ain't never figured that thing out. <laughs> but my niece and nephew had it working. Yeah. And then something, I did something and I could never get it back on. Uh, uh, well, I'll figure it but out. But it, it works. I just. Okay. It's not for old people well, to well, there's, out. You said you wanted 50, right? Yes. Sir. Okay. All right. Uh, and I'm sure I could have got more out of it because you ought to know the people that's pinged on that thing. Have, have they? I'm ready to get in there and put some. All right, I picked up three. Okay. So, dollar fifty. Yes. Please. All right. There's two dollars. I am certain that they have gone through many editions, but I suffered through that book. <laughs> <laughs> hey, some things don't change, though. They can change the edition, but the facts are the facts. I know. There's a few books that just, they need new editions every so often, but, you know, like you say, something will change. It's a dollar each. Thank you. Alright, how much would you want on this stack? There's three large books and a bunch of small oh, ones. Six dollars. Six bucks. <laughs> You wouldn't happen to have any like old video games, would you? Like Nintendo or Wii, uh, we GameCube. We don't have any here. I think we had some at home, but I didn't play them. What? You know, no, that, that's, 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 not a, that's not a game. Not. She came over and she was like, "Here, tally me up." She didn't even ask prices, so I was like, "Give me six bucks." You gave me six dollars. How much you got on that? How about two dollars? How about that? Sounds like a great idea. Uh, 
We call it the shock and all attempt. This is all about getting stuff. We are not here to take that home. Two dollars. Perfect. You want to back? Uh, yes, please. So, tons and tons of games here. But she's got them all priced out individually. That sucks. But I did find a few DVDs. Like, look at this. All these DVDs. We got Turtles. Pokemon Mewtwo Returns. Pac-Man. Down at Fraggle Rock. And I did find Call of Troops 2K7. No manual. Should get that for about two dollars though. Let's see. I think that's four there. Okay. Can we set these in here with them? Yes, please. Thank you. Is that right? Did I give you right? Yeah, it is. All right, thanks. That's that word. Give me a challenge. Give me a challenge. Give me a Set five each on these, six each on these. Yeah. That's ten, twenty-two. How much on the PS3? Twenty-two and fourteen is thirty-six. And PS2 games. Seven. 36 and 14, that's 50. And this was a movie oh, okay. DVD. It's 57. It said we was seven. Yeah. 57, 64. And how much on the 360s? Seven apiece. 64. And 14, 64, and 14 is 80, 87. Make it 80. And yeah, you taking this one? And that, yeah. This is two dollars. So it's 89. 89. 85. 85. Okay. <coughs> All right, so for that stack, 75, there's 80. All right. <clears throat> All right. Thank you, sir. I appreciate it. All right, folks, this is all I've got left after everything that I picked up in the video. Uh, the first um, pickup was that PS3 lot. Saw that Best of, Play uh, Best of PlayStation Network sell for $70. That is a bolo to be on the lookout for. Uh, definitely pick that up whenever you see it. The rest of that lot sold on Whatnot for $90 bucks plus shipping. So I made some money there for sure. Um uh, then we went to Peaches to the Beaches. 
uh, the first day and it rained the entire day. And then it rained the entire second day. So the second day I didn't even go. And I picked up some things from the first day. Got some VHS, some books, some games. Um, I always go to this one guy. Every single year he's got games. And his, his consoles are always pretty much on point to what they're what they're worth but his games he flat rate prices them uh they're not stupid cheap like i was paying seven dollars a game uh five dollars a game for some and uh but there was still money to be made so i picked up about 75 dollars worth of games from him i've sold majority of them but i do have some left uh metal gear solid portable ops has 15 to 20 bucks crash mind over mutant that's 30 to 35 dollars virtual arcade i believe is 15 to 20 super bust to move to wasn't too sure on it i didn't look it up but i knew it was one that i didn't see often uh so i picked it up for seven but it's only worth about 10 um and then these four down here i picked up at the pawn shop today uh i can't believe i, I walked in and, and just saw a few of these sitting there uh mario easy 20 25 bucks skyward sword Easy 20, 25 bucks. Scooby-Doo and the Spooky Swamp. That's the one to be on the lookout for on the Wii. That goes anywhere between 15 to 20. And then Guitar Hero prices are shooting up. So I've got that listed somewhere in the 15 to 20 dollar range as well. Uh, this VHS is one that I, I have never seen, but I looked it up and it last sold for around 15 bucks. I got it for 50 cents. So I was like, why not? And then... I still have Conker's Pocket Tales from that, that guy at, at Peaches to Beaches. I got that for five bucks. Got that listed anywhere, I think somewhere between 20 and 25 bucks. I also picked up this copy of Second Sight. Now, when I really I don't know what was going on with me that day. I couldn't I couldn't do math and I couldn't <laughs> I couldn't even check the condition on some of these, but I did not notice this until I got home. Half of the plastic is missing on the back. The label's all worn off, and if you go to to peel up the the cover, I mean the the cover art is just in horrible condition. See all that? So I took it out of the case, I put it in another case, and I've got it listed as disc only. But it should still sell anywhere between I think fifteen to twenty bucks. It's just going to be a slow sell because it's not complete. And then this is definitely one to be on the lookout for, Alice. I saw this. I was like, I've never seen this on Blu-ray. So I looked it up and it sells for 30 or more dollars. So definitely be on the lookout for this. Uh, this is a sci-fi channel original TV series. I have never, I've never even seen it. Um, but I like Alice in Wonderland and it's got Tim Curry in it. So I'm definitely in, uh, and Kathy Bates. But that's it, folks. Hope you've enjoyed the content. If you have, go ahead and hit that like button. If you have not yet subscribed, be sure to hit that subscribe button and the bell icon so you receive notifications every single time I make an upload. Hope you're having a fantastic week. I know I am. I'm Tatted Collector, and have a good one.